All right, we're going to read this book, How to Catch a Unicorn, from the New York Times bestselling team, Adam Wallace and Andy El Elkerton. So that just means that this book is really popular. Let's turn the page here. And again, How to Catch a Unicorn. We say that together? Unicorn. Good. There it is. On this bright and shiny morning, I want something fun to do. So I'm reading a so I'm writing on a rainbow and I'm heading to the zoo. Have you ever been to the zoo? Yeah. It's, a, it's fun there. The kids think they have spotted me. I thought I'd blend in here. I cannot let them catch me or my magic will disappear. Is that a unicorn? I think they can fly. I believe they fart glitter. I heard they can shrink. Let's catch it. That's the point of this book, right? They want to catch this unicorn. And why do you think the unicorn thinks it can blend in at this place, at the zoo? Because there's other animals? Yeah. Hmm, let's see. Luckily, my animal friends from the zebra to the ape are all on board to help me. They will make sure I escape. Do you see those two rhyming words in that little, in that sentence? Ape and escape. They both end with the same letters. First, I see my stripy cousins, but then I have to fly. As much as I like lemonade, I have to say goodbye. A unicorn likes lemonade. Get that pink lemonade. Oh, and you see that zebra kicking? Look at that action there. I dodge the plastic parachute being launched from down below. I do a spin and leave a trail of glitter as I go. Ooh, look at that glitter. Look at all the kids trying to catch it. I chill with all my penguin pals, but these traps are everywhere. I'll head to the nocturnal house. I hope it's safe in there. That's a big word there, right? Nocturnal? That just means having to do with the nighttime. Wow, this room is super dark. I'm glad I'm a unicorn. Who knows what I might walk into without my magical horn? Let's see the unicorn. Kind of disappeared there in the dark. And again, nocturnal, having to do with nighttime, right? Because it's dark at night. Now I'm off to see more friends. It's time to shrink my size. But it sure is hard to see in here with all these butterflies. Ooh, look at all those pretty butterflies. All those different colors. Purple, yellow, green, red. My nose smells something super sweet coming from the cafe. Oh, yum, I snag a little bite before I fly away. I guess it's fine for the unicorns to eat it. Unicorns eat for free. Next up, I go to where it's hot and where there's lots of scales. The snakes and lizards help me through with their clever use of tails. Yeah, thanks to them, huh? I'm big again, and with more friends, these monkeys make me laugh but I would have been caught easily if not for the giraffe. What's over there, a paddle boat? This could be lots of fun. I would stay in the water, but my friends are roaring, run! While visiting my beaver friends, I spy a welcome sight. My true friends come to save the day with their bold, brave beaver bite. It's the unicorn castle. The gift shop makes the perfect place for your elaborate trap. But lucky for me, there's a decoy to safely take the wrap. Decoy is just something that it could be attracted to so they could trap the unicorn. I had fun with my friends today. The zoo has been a blast. You tried your best, but your traps were smart. But unicorns are fast. Now it's time for me to go and maybe take a nap. Meanwhile, keep on trying, kids. I'll be back to best your traps. Oh, so they didn't get it after all. But look at all of them. Covered in paint. <laughs> Better luck next time. So you see in the beginning, the kids wanted to catch that unicorn. But in the end, the unicorn got away.